Are you ready to show me MIT? Uh, I thought I did that yesterday. All right, let's go start our day. Okay. Oh, we're early. Oh man, first MIT class. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Where's the prof? Um, classes actually start five minutes after the hour, so we're early. Oh, okay. And we're not gonna show up for a couple minutes, usually. Oh! It actually works! I'm very excited to see what you guys are learning because it's like, I love learning new things. It's um, a business analytics class. So it's like a mix oh, of- Oh, analytics, I like that. Business, you make money. Do you know that one? Yeah, I can help you after class if you want. Okay, okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. You got me vegetables? <laughs> So how's it like studying at MIT? Um, it's pretty normal, I think. It's really stressful, but I'm sure other universities are also really stressful. When you first got into here, mm -hmm. how did you feel? Very bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I was super excited, and I think um, that's probably true for most kids. I did a bunch of math competitions, so mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I, I feel like I belong. But then I started taking like harder math classes, then I felt, wow, I'm not that smart. <laughs> we all go through yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I still procrastinate a lot. I play a lot of video games. League? Yeah, I play League. Oh, me too. Oh, really? Yeah, I play mid. Are you like Challenger? No, I'm Plat. Okay, that's still pretty good. So you still have a lot of free time even. Yeah, definitely if you budget your time, you have a lot of free time. So what are you studying for? I have a project due tomorrow. What are you studying for? I'm editing videos. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Alright, we just finished studying. How was that? It was okay. It was okay. Alright, I'm hungry. I've been here for hours. So right now we're going to May Asian <laughs> Eatery <laughs> near the <laughs> MIT. Oh, oh, okay. It's near the MIT campus and we're gonna meet a bunch of our friends there and we're gonna have a wholesome dinner night. Mm -hmm. Do you like my hat? <laughs> what do you usually do? Like what do you usually like? I usually cook at home. Yeah? Yeah. But like what kind of food do you cook? Ground up whatever's available and make whatever. Here you go. It's been a really great three days here in Boston. Thankfully, we met some new friends. Andy over here, Ingrid over there. This toast goes out to friendship, to friendship. We have great crisis management skills, though some of us have poor taste in roommates. <laughs> We've been dating for seven months now, baby, I love you. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking about this. That was like a really good lecture. I learned a lot. Yeah. 
That was okay. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know you guys had stuff like this. Yeah, it was cool because he was actually funny. A lot of the lectures that we have aren't that funny. Yeah. Well, I guess this is the end. What kind of interview is this? I'm not in the And. Uh, Goodbye. All right. Thank you for showing me around. Bye. All right, that was a day in the life of an MIT student, and thank you, Ingrid, for showing me around. I hope to see you soon. Maybe you can come to UBC. If you like this video, hit that like button, and if you want more, hit the subscribe button to join the Hafu University. My reflection on the day so far, MIT is honestly a lot of work. The classes are very difficult, and they go very deep into each topic. But that doesn't mean it's bad, because I think it's a good type of challenge. The other thing I love about MIT is the campus is filled with students who are all very passionate about a particular thing. For example, Ingrid was math. She was so passionate about it. She did so many challenges. And another friend I met named Jet, he was passionate about bioengineering. No matter who you talk to, you can always learn new things. That's the number one thing I love about studying at MIT today. And as always, I'm your host, Hafu Guo. I will see you next time. Peace. Can we do the subscribe synchronize? Okay. Like and subscribe! Peace.